yo yo what's going on y'all so i have a warning message for someone um you have been thinking considering and talking about moving in with someone and the father wants you to know that this person is a snake and not to move in with them there is something about this person that is unclean there is something about this person that is unclean i don't know what is unclean about this person but there is something unclean about this person i don't know if this person has an std or if it's something else that is unclean about this person. But the father is saying, do not move in with this person. This is a confirmation for someone because this is something that you've already been thinking about, talking about, and discussing, and you have made up your mind that you will move in with this person or allow this person to move in with you. And the father is saying, do not move in with this person. This person is a snake and they are unclean. And we're just going to get revelation um, and converse confirmation from Father that this is the case, okay? I am that I am, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and my Holy Spirit. I ask that you lead me to where I need to be so that I can provide the warning and clarification and edification to your child that needs to hear this warning and this message in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask that you allow us to follow divinely in your footsteps and you not allow us to be led astray by the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask that you counsel every plan of the enemy. I ask that you make it known to your children in God's mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over this message, over your messenger, and over your children who are connected to this ministry. Father, I ask that you extend your blood to the homes of the children connected to this ministry and to their children in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we know it's to you that all things are possible, and it's in your name that I pray. Amen. The maid went out and told the girl... The maid went the maid went out and told the girl's parents that Tobiah was alive and that there was nothing wrong. Then Ragul praised the God of heaven in these words. So this person You may have people telling you that it's nothing wrong with this person and that this person does not still have things attached to them or that they're not disobedient still or disrespectful or whatever. However, this person is unclean. You may have somebody around you telling you that this person is is okay. A maid is a female domestic servant, especially an unmarried one. So you may have someone who is not married. Who performs duties. You may work with this person. You may live with this person. Y'all may share domestic duties. Together. And this person is telling you that it is okay for you to move in with this man. That it'll be fine.
Father, can you provide clarification and confirmation that this person, that whomever you are speaking to or want this message to be relayed to, that whoever it is that they are trying to or wanting to or considering moving in with, that this person is a snake and that they are unclean and that you don't want them to be or move in with this person, can you please provide clarification and confirmation of that in Jesus' mighty name, if this is the case. Gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return for the wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you. Have them recline at the table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in us in the second or the third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have broken into it. You must also be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the son of man will come. Now I feel like the father is saying this person used to be a snake. They used to be unclean. And it's okay for you to move in with this person. And I'm supposed to tell you it's okay to move with, I'm the maid, the servant maid, who's supposed to tell you it's okay to move in with this person. Because this person is okay. Because, and then this just popped up on my screen. It says they will be calling you. So whereas I thought the picture that is in the community tab meant to not move in with this snake, it actually means that this person that you're moving in with used to be a snake. They used to be unclean. But now this person is okay. This person has been made clean. And you don't know when they're going to return. But when they return, this person will want to move in with you or they will want you to move in with them. And you may see this person as a snake. This You may not trust this person. You may not want to. Like my first instinct was to not trust to move in with this person. And that may be your first instinct, not to trust to move in with this person. Because that was my first instinct when I saw this message. But as I was asking for clarification and confirmation, the father was saying, it's okay. And you never know when the son of man is going to return. And to... Be prepared and to gorge your loins because you never know when the bridegroom is coming to receive his bride. And just like I thought that this, when I first saw the snakes on this on this U-Haul, that this was a warning not to move in with this person. Your your spider <laughs> your um your spider senses may be going off like eh, 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 because of the past with this person. The past experiences with this person. Maybe you've even lived with this person before, maybe you spent some time 
with this person before and the way that it went before is like you it would be a big red flag for you if you went off of your own wisdom and knowledge and experiences and your own adult reasoning <laughs> it would it would be a red big red flag for you not to move in with this person but the father is saying and revealing <clears throat> that this man has been made clean and he is going to return and to be prepared let's do it one more time y'all because <laughs> listen it wasn't what i thought it was gonna be at first so, you know, the father just showed me the name Earl. Warrior or noble man. You see, the father just showed me the, the word Earl, really big and really colorful. And it means warrior or noble man. And chief. It also means chief. So this man is a leader. He is a warrior and he is a noble man. Holy Spirit. This is the last time just because of the way I started off and my spite, but I know that's probably the way you wanted it to be, but just for my mind's sake. <laughs> One more time. And there will be ample goats, milk to supply you, to supply your household and maintenance for your maidens. So y'all, that comes from Proverbs chapter 27 and 27. And we are talking and speaking about moving in together. Okay, and it says there will be ample goats, milk to supply you, to supply your household and maintenance for your maidens. So again, this man is someone who you saw and viewed as a snake, someone who was unclean. Okay, and the father has made this man clean. He has been made clean and this man is going to return to you. And the father wants you to be prepared. By all means, please take this back to the father and make sure that this message is for you. 27, 27 means to teach by word of mouth to quake so I don't know if this is going to stir <laughs> shake some stuff up I don't know but to teach by word of mouth and form though I myself have reasons for such confidence if someone else thinks that if someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh I have more Though I could have confidence in my own effort, if anyone could, indeed, if others have reasons for my confidence in their own efforts, I I have even more. So the Father is telling me to be confident in <laughs> what I'm saying right now. Be confident in what you are saying right now, because this is a message from the Father, okay? So he's telling me, be confident in the message that I am relaying. Be confident in the teaching that you are saying out of your mouth, okay? Be confident. So he said what he said. <laughs> to quake. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their thresholds. They all lose courage and come trembling from their thresholds. I mean, they all come, they all lose courage and come trembling from their strongholds. So this person is about to come forward from whatever it was that was holding them back or keeping them from you and whatever it is um when they come just remember that this person they're doing this afraid they're doing it but they're doing it scared 
know that they're doing this afraid. They're doing this out of out of faith and out of the courage and out of um, obedience because they have lost courage. They have lost the heart to do what it is that they're about to do, but yet and still they're about to do it because they have been, um, they're coming out of this place. They've been released from this place that's been holding on to them and keeping them from moving forward. And so just know when they when they come to you and they uh, say this thing, that they're doing this and they're afraid, but they're still doing it, okay? They're doing it out of faith and full confidence in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And your first reaction or feeling may be the red flag that I felt when I saw it, this, uh, when I saw it and when I saw this picture of the snakes with a U-Haul, your, your, um, your first initial reaction may be this. You may feel this way like, mm-mm, like the last time I, mm-mm, and the Father is calling you to um, have faith and confidence in what he has told you, just like this man is having faith and confidence in what the Father has told him when he is sending him to you. Just know this man is doing this and he's doing it afraid, but he has been released from this stronghold. He has been made clean and he is being obedient and he is coming forward. This man used to be a snake and he used to be unclean and, you know, a lot of different things. But the man, the father has forgiven the um, forgiven this man. He has made him clean, washed him, and now he is returning him. He is about to send him back to you. And the father wants you to show him the that godly love, you know that godly love that you have instilled inside of you, that godly love that made you stand in the gap and wait for him for this day to, to come into existence, okay? The promise to even happen. So the Father wants you to do that, okay? Peace.